Welcome back, Game Do you have a mole that's always bothered you, but you don't want to risk surgery or scarring? Well, join us now with the latest procedures for mole removal. Is Dr. Jerry Darn, President and Medical Director of Aesthetic Medicine. Nice to have you back. Thank you so yeah, much. Helen Happy mentiospringtime. mentioned earlier in the show. You know, it's, it's springtime. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, you yes. too, friend. Yeah, you've got the there. You go. Eco friendly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> with the gorilla. Those are gorillas. Yeah. Uh, Helen was mentioning earlier, springtime, summertime. You know, showing more skin. The moles show up. People sometimes, you know, uncomfortable with that. Uh, here to four, it's, it's, it was a little more invasive. Well, the tra removal, traditional right? treatment is a cor coring out, removal, and then a, a suture, basically. And the, Which so would leave a scar. Standard. Yeah, she leaves a scar and some pain and some downtime. So we have have some advanced techniques with some really advanced technology that's made it a lot you know, less invasive and uh, much quicker. And so we can remove numerous moles at, at a time. And what are we looking at here? Is this the Elman? So this procedure? is the Elman unit, yeah. And How it's does that a work? it's a it's a radio frequency device, and it's just a little wire, and uh, you can just in a kind of a microsurgical technique, you can remove these moles. It's really uh, um, interesting. Now, for a lot of people, moles they, they have to be concerned. We're always told watch them for changes. They could be cancerous. Right, and uh, if if it's if it's obviously if it's a malignancy or if it looks like you know something that's uh, suspicious suspicious, then we would refer it to a dermatologist or to the primary care physician and then it would need to of course be biopsied and sent off for pathology. The vast majority of moles are not malignant and just you know unsightly especially right on the end of the nose yeah. With, yeah. with hair. Okay now how many procedures <laughs> how many procedures does it take to uh, to get rid of the mole with the ailment? Oh it's just one procedure and it goes very quickly and we use a little bit of anesthetic uh, to numb the area and then this very fine wire just sort of teases the mole away from the skin. So is it, is it really like a scraping? Procedure. Is it a well, it's sort of a burning, but it's 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 not. It doesn't heat the surrounding tissue so much. It's just sort of like a knife through butter. Very very fine, very very gentle, and very precise. And and, uh, and I know you you you've touched on it, but the, then the time for that to heal, where you don't notice anything? Just a matter of weeks. Okay. A matter of weeks, and there might be just a little bit of a scar, but it's nothing like the like the, the mole, like uh, doing the incision biopsy. Basically. And and then there's another type called the cryoprobe. Is that right? Right. The cryoprobe is a uh, unit that's Again, a very, very precise unit, and it freezes uh, the areas. And you can freeze uh, the areas in a very, very uh, precise manner. Now, this is a gal that has some uh, fairly large moles, and you can see. And here's after, immediately after the uh, the surgical procedure. Here's a week later. Oh wow! And healing very, very quickly, and with you know just a minimal amount of scarring. And so, very, very large uh, moles can be taken off. You know, pretty much, and she loves it. She's <laughs> great. What so. uh, the, the, the two procedures offered? Uh, I would imagine one application is, is probably more uh, suited for uh, some types for of for larger ones. Uh, the 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 Elman unit basically for the flatter moles that uh, we have, we can use the you know the freezing technique. And so, what are we seeing a, here? This is a before and after. This is a before procedure? and after. Yeah, this is uh, this with the Elman unit, and uh, as you can see, all types of uh, moles can be removed with a very, very reasonable and excellent, uh, you know, cosmetic result, basically. So. And uh, uh, the whole procedure, if you have, I, I would imagine people aren't removing just well, one. Well, you can do, you can sometimes do up to 10 or even 20 moles within an hour's time. Oh, really? So that's the other, if someone has, you know, covered with lots and lots of moles or uh, unsightly brownish spots and so on, we can remove those in a matter so of So not just moles, minutes. but any kind of skin blemish that's Any permanent? sort of skin blemish, right, can okay. be addressed. Do the moles come back? Um, on rare occasion, you might see a recurrence, but generally speaking, this technique is going to go deep enough to get you know the mole uh, enough so that it doesn't come back. This really is quite the advancement. I mean, from the way it used to be. Oh, this and the and the gentleman doing Dr. Han, who's doing these procedures, is actually a national trainer. So he trains other physicians all around the country uh, on this particular procedure. So it's uh, it's really. Elegant and it's really advanced and it's a it's a wonderful option for getting those. All right, what about the hair that came out of the nose? What, 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 what about that the, one right the, on the end of the nose? You can do that pluck. one too. Yeah, yeah. just a pluck. 
to pluck what's on. And, and you can take it home and save it. <laughs> you can do that. All right. If you want to find out more about mole removal at, at Aesthetic Medicine, you can by calling the number 503-697-9777 or heading to our website at katu.com, and there you'll find uh, more information about Aesthetic Medicine. They're located, by the way, 9735 Southwest Shady Lane in Tiger. Dr. Darm, good to see you again. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Thank you so for having much. me.